<laughs> I can't say hello for some reason. Hello, hi, hi, hello, no. Okay, I don't know what is going on with me today. Um, maybe today's not the day to be recording if I can't even say hello. Maybe I'll make a little blooper about how many times uh, I just pushed stop because I couldn't say hello. Um, well, from my now moment to your now moment, hi. <laughs> I almost said howdy. Holy shit, what is wrong with me today? Um, I'm not gonna push stop. I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it rolling. You don't know how many times I'm trying to do this today. Um, I, I didn't think I was going to get on here, actually, because it took me forever to um, get ready today. But I started to pull a card for the collective and see where we're at. Um, and I wanted to use the archetype um, deck and see what type of archetypal energy we are all collectively going through right now and um three cards pulled out the poet or jumped out i didn't pull them they fell out the dead end and the mentor okay so immediately i felt this is where we're at this is where we think we're at this dead end But this dead end does not mean dead end. It, it's, um, if you look at it like that, um, I guess it portray, portrays like an ending of some sorts. But this actually is a sign of new beginnings because when one door closes, another one opens. So the dead end is actually something I think our collective is going through right now we are all waking up and we are realizing that a lot of these systems are not healthy for our souls and we're not being all that we can be as humans living the way we've been living there's something more out there so there's endings there's endings of the way we uh, view each other the way we communicate with each other. There's endings on the way um, We're gonna stop fighting with each other, you know, we're gonna realize that all race is Beautiful. We're gonna realize that we're all connected um, so the collective going through this dead-end spell to me is something quite beautiful because death is something we need to experience throughout our lifetime, many times throughout our lifetime, not just the one big death at the very end, which is a whole nother experience and something uh, that we need to learn and embrace a better way anyways. Um, because we need to stop being sad and um, taking low vibrational energies from deaths and wallowing in them for years and years and years. We should be celebrating these people. We should be celebrating that they have reached that point in their life where they could choose their exit. Um, seeing things through new fresh eyes is going to help us um, stop a lot of things that has been hurting our society which is just hurting our community our connection to our communities um, the poet is the underlining energy um, this is everyone who is expressing and 
uh, believing in themselves and following their gut guidance, following what is bringing the most joy into their lives. Um, the poet is someone who looks within themselves and expresses their most inner emotions. So it could be very heavy emotions and you express it through a loving and healing modality. That is being the poet. You can be a poet through your healing. You can be a poet through your speeches. You can be a poet through your drawings. Okay, not just writing words. Um, so you can be a poet and not even know it. <laughs> okay, um, but seriously, poets aren't just people who write poems. Poets are people who prophesize Okay, people who channel and are expressing their their truth. You're being a poet. Um, and then we got the mentor. So we're all being guided here. We're all being mentored. And what is so significant? Do you see this yellow orange, this golden orange color? So this morning I was doing um, a meditation. Actually, I was, I was, last week I was giving, uh, like a chakra tune-up. I was doing some energy work for someone and I was doing my chakra tune-up thing and I haven't really, um, expressed this healing modality, but, um, it's really powerful. And when I do use it on other people, they really feel their chakras open up and anyways, the golden orange color came through last week and then it came through again this morning during my meditation and um the angel that the archangel that comes through with that energy is archangel metatron and that's no surprise to me because he's been one of my guides for uh this whole time my whole awakening he's been there um multiple different psychics or clairvoyants that I work with have mentioned his energy um, around me. And so that golden orange light that I was working with last week and this morning has appeared again. And look, more orange and golden light. So Metatron's... Um, energy. I guess I want to talk about Metatron's energy with this mentor card because um, he is sending his love through our heart chakras. Um, let me see if I can figure out a way to get everyone to do this. Um, Okay, so Archangel Metatron will come through uh, your crown chakra and all you have to do is call on his name and ask him to bring his golden orange flame down um, over your body. So it encompasses your whole body. Um, Archangel Metatron wants you to open up your vessel to him so that he can send this golden orange light through it and it will cast out through your heart chakra so if your heart is open um, and you're a healer and you want to practice sending healing to different systems like the schools around your area the government the um, any type of system that you know has corruption and is not really um, uh, healthy for the human soul uh, it may be healthy for your ego and that that body um, but your soul and your emotional body wants um, something different wants sovereignty wants truth truth is not 
something that is of importance um, to our society. And it will look like <laughs> um, many different ways you're supposed to be and act and feel about many different things. Um, so use your own discernment, okay? Use your own discernment and you can send this love and this light to anywhere. Um, so he'll send it down to your heart and you'll feel it. You'll feel it immediately. His energy is very strong. Um, and all you have to do is visualize your heart's light shining onto whatever. Like I did this this morning and I, I visualize shining my heart's light along with Archangel Metatron's energy of pure love and compassion. Um, I was sending it to my kids' school so that everyone will be at ease, the teachers will be at ease, and um, I sent it to the hospitals. Everyone, everyone gets um, treatment. Everyone, if they're if they're going off of this planet, if they're deciding to leave off of this planet, then Metatron will be with them, waiting for them to hand them um, back to source. Or they get the treatment and the love and the support of health. Um, and then I sent it to like our government and uh, the White House and just pray that every decision being made would be of harmony and peace and love. And you will feel a profound energy around you when you start sending your own love and your own heart's light and energy um, to your loved ones and to your community. Um, That orange energy um, is very loving. It reminds me of like the the sacral chakra, um, and I think I think that's eventually where I'm being led to because I'm getting a lot of sacral chakra tantra type um, visions and how to bring back like sacred sensuality within the lovers and. So I think me and my husband may put together some type of workshop for lovers to really connect back to their sensuality, to really connect back to um, the love that they need to embrace. And I think it's going to be really exciting because it's something that we don't really see a lot of. We don't see a lot of intimacy. Um, and genuine sensuality we don't see that it's everything is so sexualized everything is so glammed up and if it's not being shunned it's like very vulgar in your face so um, we need to bring it back to this wholesome type energy and um, I'm I think that's where I'm being led or another route I'm being led towards it's not something that I, I think I'm going to dive into right away because, you know, of course, I've been guided to the Reiki kids and um, creating stuff like that for the children. Um, so if you come across my video and you um, and this resonates with you, let me know because um, there's not much talk not much I, there's a lot there's a lot of views being viewed um, but there's no communication so um, remember keep it keep it nice keep it nice especially in my comments because I'm not um, I'm not dealing with the low vibrational duality shit anymore. Um, yeah, we still live in it, but I don't have to play with it anymore. 
That's a choice. It is a, a very good choice that I've decided to make because going back and forth with someone who is judging you um, is only going to lower your vibrations. And I had like this spiritual wake up call these past few days because I realized that even in the spiritual community, people will still judge you and people will still um, question you in a negative and judgmental way. Instead of one of my friends asking me, hey, I didn't know you did this or that. Um, I had a friend judge me and say, you can't do this. And that brought up a lot of childhood traumas just because I was told a lot of times that I couldn't do this or I couldn't do that or couldn't be this or couldn't be that. Um, and I realized that that's not just for our society. Like we still have that in our spirit, spiritual community. And um, I had to like really self-evaluate myself and be like, okay, you set up this belief system that all these people are going to be wholesome and and um, non-judgmental because they're they're in the spiritual community and and they must know things you know but that's not always true and I don't I don't need to just create more belief systems on top of all of the belief systems that I'm trying to wash away um, so that was um, quite a bit of a challenge to release and realize that there are judgmental spiritual people and, um, and that's okay. And I have to be okay with that. Everybody does. Everyone has to be okay with it. Um, I love this person, but um, it did hurt. It did hurt. But I handled it very well. I just simply let them know. <laughs> um, but I think that we need to just trust ourselves. I think we just need to trust ourselves and not put so much of that trust into other people. Um, I say I'm a lot. Most of this is channeled anyway, so whatever I'm not knowing what to say, I'm channeling. <laughs> so, um, But I do want to talk about something I have, which people have always said that I've had um, ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder. And if you follow, is it, I know I'm going to mess this up. Eagle Dawn Medicine, Eagle Medicine, she's a spiritual badass, okay, so if you go look up Christina Eagle, she's a, she has a site on Instagram called Spiritual Badass, and um, she's been posting things about ADD being attention to the divine disorder, and I freaking love that. I, I feel like I said that a long time ago. Um, but, and I've always felt indifferent about uh, mental illnesses because I see the spiritual connection to them and why we need people like that around. Um, instead of telling them that they're bad and that we have to label them as like schizophrenic or whatever, um, we should have been telling them that they are highly gifted and beautiful beings that are connected to spirit. Um, so my ADD is just an intense focus that helps me channel. It is my channeling gift. Um, and that's probably the only thing I do trust is because you can't, um, you can't make up what you see and what you feel and what they're telling you. Like it's just so in depth and I guess hard to explain, but um, 
like most people who are schizophrenic have realized not I'm not gonna say most people because I don't know most people um, but some people who are schizophrenic have realized that they are just clairvoyant um, and when they really embrace their gift they are no longer in that bound and in that labeled energy that our society gave to them and that made them like realize how beautiful they are and realize how amazing they are and so they started using their gifts better and started channeling and talking to spirit and looking at people's energies and and seeing them and just it just brings a lot of joy to their life so guess what they start taking their they're not taking their medicine um same thing with like people who are diabetic and stuff they realize that oh it's the food that they're giving them it's 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 the diet that they're on so they st guess what they started eating fresh vegetables like raw fresh vegetables all day long fruit in the morning vegetables in the evening and they're not taking insulin anymore I'm not telling anyone not to take their medicine but I'm just telling you what I'm reading and what I am seeing out there in our world and no one's talking about it I just think that's crazy no one is talking about how amazing our bodies are and what our bodies can do like self heal like a motherfucker self heal like it's crazy people are healing their eyesight like why isn't this on the freaking news they're healing their eyesight by affirmations well they do the eye testing too where you cover one eye and you read with one and but you know there are some people who don't do that they have they their vision isn't that bad they just wear uh, reading glasses or something and they'll tell themselves as an affirmation I am ready to see the world for what it truly is and guess what six months later they don't they're not wearing glasses so create your own miracles Create your own healing miracle. You can do it. You can do it. I believe you. I'm <laughs> probably the only one, but I believe in you. I think every person out there is special. I think y'all are special. And I think y'all need to realize that. I think you need to stop noticing everyone else and what they're doing and hone in on what the hell you're doing. Hone in on yourself, on your gifts, on your abilities. Like, if I was so worried about my neighbor or anyone else out there, I would not be working on myself. I would have not, I wouldn't have found myself. Um, so, find yourself. I tell y'all this today is a weird day I'm feeling kind of sassy and and not all at the same time I don't know I don't know am I even... drinking out of my love cup so I was talking to my friend this morning and uh, we were telling each other like all the silly things we do and um, how we send our protection to our kids and how when we like she told me when she folds her clothes, she puts um, like her intentions that anybody who wears the clothes is going to be safe and loving. And I was like, oh, I can do that too, you know, with my laundry. And I can, I can do that with my dishes when I'm, you know, cleaning my dishes. I can say any food placed on this uh, plate gets divinely reprogrammed into love and um, see if that doesn't like, raise the vibrations in your home um what else? oh yeah we said that we both do this we didn't know that we did this but we both talk into our drinks and we'll tell like little affirmations about ourselves like you are beautiful you know if you talk into your water talk into your um your drink you can actually program water uh you don't have to use the reiki energy you don't have to use anything you well, you can use your own energy and just hover over 
and reprogram it if you want to. Uh, you just send your heart through your hands. So your heart chakra is connected to your hand chakras and you have these centers, center points in your palms uh, that release the energy that your heart has. So you can use that anywhere with anything. Um, you can, I activate them by rubbing them together like this and I can feel my heart energy. So energy, if you're not an empath and you want to start feeling energy, get still, get still, get this quiet, sink this energy down into your heart energy, or you can just focus on this energy. You can even tap or put your hands on your heart. Um, you're going to bring your awareness to this energy, to this, to your heart chakra. Um, so you can either do it visual, like visualizing it, um, trying to get quiet, silencing your mind. All of that chatter needs to get very, very still. All of it can wait. Just shove it to a side for a little bit and feel that energy. Like you know you're here because you were just thinking and you're getting your thoughts out. So you know you're here. And just once you clear all of those thoughts and just shove them out of the way, you'll feel if you bring your awareness because you're already here bring your awareness down you'll start feeling it move down and then when you get to your heart you might feel a little flutter energy is always moving so it's it feels like a flutter so it feels like um spinning energy spins energy is always moving um, when we have stuck energy somewhere in our body it's stuck it's not going anywhere um, you'll feel it you'll feel stagnant you'll feel tired and just not wanting not wanting life you know to be so great so when that happens bring all of your awareness to that um, if your knee is hurting, if your hip is hurting, if your ankle is hurting, bring your awareness to that area, okay? Shoulder, whatever, throat, whatever. If you had a headache, cup it. You can put your hands anywhere. Your hands are connected to your heart. So anywhere you put that and you set your intentions by opening your heart, and, and sending your light because you have your own light you have your own essence and energy and it it flows from your heart chakra okay wherever you want it to go if you're going to send it through your hands it comes through the arms and out the palms like you just set your intention um so if you do have stuck energy like sometimes my knee will lock up not like bad lock up but every once in a while it um uh, which hasn't done it in a long time and it just recently done it uh so i was like okay i need to see what's going on so i i cupped my knee and just listened and it was around fear i had some more fear energy get lodged right here which happens because you know anytime you're talking your truth or um, trying to help others and um, a friend mentioned to me that um, since I am a light worker with no agenda I may have um, attackers so I need to you know put a little put a little extra love into me because I'll be um, I know I'm gonna be a target for people but anyways heal let's let's get to or the stuck energy so if you have the stuck energy anywhere and it's causing pain inflammation stuff like that um go outside put your feet on the earth cup cup your the area and ask it what it needs to move forward okay notice what you feel i felt fear 
I was fearing putting myself out there, you know. Um, I was fearing my whole spirituality and my awakening and just putting all of that into the universe, speaking from my own wisdom. And um, the sweet little girl, <laughs> sweetest girl ever, um, is really taking a liking to my throat chakra. And uh, she got me this big blue flower for me, uh, for my heart chakra, for my throat chakra. And uh, I don't know why that just came to mind, but I guess I was just fearing my own truth and how people would respond to it. And that fear got lodged into my knee because it was trying to stop me from going there, okay? So sometimes our ego will send fear energy, like, oh, if you do that, people are, are gonna think you're weird, or oh my gosh, if you say that, people are gonna think you're crazy. And um, since I don't let that get to my head, I guess it's sent to my knee. <laughs> um, but we do normally store fear of death in our knees. Um, or fear of life because death is easy you know um, it's just an experience but we fear we fear the life I guess but it's still based around death um, and it's portrayed in our knees so if you are walking a new path if you are going to a new job if you're starting over if you are creating a family and it's all new to you I want you to stop and next time you're like in the bathtub really pay attention to your your feet and your legs and rub them and put your your hands on your feet and tell that tell your feet that you thank them for for taking your your weight around and um, in, embracing you know your path your steps and honor and honor your feet for for taking you for it being the feet you chose to help walk you through your life you know you chose this vessel so honor it um same with your legs they help carry your weight they walk you through life they store a lot of energy we have very strong powerful legs and they get us to where we want to go okay so if we are not honoring our legs and honoring our path our legs will tell us that. Our legs will start hurting. Our ankles will hurt. Our feet will hurt. It's not going to want to get up and continue the day that you planned out for it because it's not in sync with your path or your soul. So think about all of that. <laughs> and um, if your feet don't hurt and your legs don't hurt and you are on that path that brings you the most joy and the most happiness, you still need to love and appreciate them. You still need to do that for them, okay? Um, ooh, my hand just started vibrating. Did y'all see, I don't know if you've seen that, but my hand just started pulsating, vibrating right here. Um, anytime I'm talking about healing, my hands start vibrating and I can see the energy like vibrate outward um, and that's really cool because I just started seeing that and feeling that um, but I guess it's anytime I talk about healing not just um, when I actually am healing or um, oh I've noticed it uh, with sex like when me and my husband have sex like we I, my hands <laughs> will vibrate and uh, I can feel my uh, womb space vibrate out um, so just new stuff, new new stuff coming online, and it's it's cool. Um, are y'all having any abilities to come online? Are y'all having your gifts come online? Um, talk to me about it. Open up yourself, like I'm opening myself up. Um, I knew that I would have a hard time opening myself up, and I. Um, didn't really do it for about a year 
and as soon as I started this channel and started opening up anything and everything that I wanted to talk about, um, it's created this higher energy, this, this new vibration about me. Uh, and, uh, ooh, excuse me, excuse me, I had some um, rose kombucha earlier <laughs> and uh, the fizz is coming up, I guess. Um, so drink your kombucha after your coffee. That is, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, let's see, do I want to talk about anything else? I don't know. This light is bugging me. I can't stare at it for too long. It's too bright. So maybe I can change it. Ah, don't fall. Ooh, that's blue. Is that pretty? It's a lot softer than the white. Gold. No. It's like shiny. I like this blue. Well, I guess we're almost done. Let's see what it says on our calendar today. Today's. What is today? What's today for today? Start your journey to financial abundance. Start my journey to financial abundance. Well, let me tell you my theory. Actually, it's not a theory. It's a belief system. And it's embedded in me like I can't freaking get rid of it. Okay. Um, so this whole time I've been doing my healing sessions or counseling or whatever um I haven't been charging <laughs> I know I know all of my spiritual teachers and business coaches are like what are we gonna do with you Amanda what are we gonna do with you well I have a hard time accepting money <laughs> oh, and when I do get it I just freely give it out as soon as I have it and I know that that is a beautiful thing and I have this beautiful relationship with money but when it comes to healing I can't I can't guys oh <laughs> I can't accept money for healing and it takes a lot it doesn't take a lot out of me but it it, it takes up if I do even just one session a day, it takes up my whole day because I just give so much to this person before and after and, and I just, <sighs> listen, I am going to work on that orange chakra energy, that sacral chakra energy for creativity. I will creatively start making something that I can profit from and it will be a hit and everybody will love it because they get to buy these products that they get to use and still get free healing at the same time. Yeah? Does that sound good? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's going to come. But right now, I have a hard time accepting money. And I know everything will be okay. Spirit has already told me that everything's going to be okay. We're going to be provided for no matter what. Even if it's slim and just covers the basis. But um, there's something there that brings me joy. There's something there that keeps me unbound to something I thought was detrimental and maybe it's not so detrimental it's just the way we use money but to me being a newly opened soul just finding her way feels right right now so all children 
get free healings, um, free sessions, no matter what they're going through. Is If it's emotional, if it's physical, whatever, they get it for free. Um, the adults get it for free too. Um, but some adults, they'll gift me with something or give me a really long hug. And I don't know. That's good. I'm telling you, connection gets me this way. Oh my gosh. I cannot think about connecting to people without tearing up. Oh my gosh. But, <laughs> like the great ones say, if you are not moved to tears on a daily basis, you are not truly living. So, from my now moment to your now moment, I love you, I connect with you, and I honor you. Take care.